What? That's fine. We need to stay in a group, in my opinion, at this point. Don't don't be the person by themselves getting targeted. More of us, the better. I, Come at me. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, right? It is weird. They specifically made a U-turn to come back around at us again. Hey, but I think that we need to kind of go get a statement from the two people that we have with us today that we're kind of here protesting on behalf of and with. Uh -huh. So that would be these two gentlemen right here, one of whom is recording us live, Mr. Elijah Woody. All right, so Elijah, why don't you just tell us real quick what happened to you? All right, for the million and thirtieth time, say no. <laughs> now, what happened was I was uh, getting ready to go watch the Mayweather fight, and um, and of course I wanted to carry my gun with me. I didn't have a CPL at the time, but I open carry a lot. You know what I mean? And uh, by myself with my friends, cops pull up down the street. Actually, you know what? We get a phone call. We get a phone call five minutes prior to them pulling up on us. They say, be careful, the cops just hopping out searching people. Uh, look at me. I, okay, we get a call, but I know what I'm doing is legal, so I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying, hide anything. Five minutes later, the cops come, hop out the car instantly. The cop come directly towards me and say, you got some bullshit on me. I say, no, sir, no bullshit on me. Takes my gun up off me, takes me to the car and cuff me. That quick, that easy, that simple. They didn't even look at your ID to find out if you had nah, a CPL. At all. He didn't even ask if I had a CPL. Long story short, they lied in court. Oh yeah, man. They lied in court. I was there for they that. They said I tried to run. They said I, uh, what is, I, put, I, I reached for my weapon. Yeah, they, they <laughs> He said I reached for my weapon. Oh, he bladed away from us. He bladed us. away. Uh, what, what else he say? He say, um, you know, it's funny. It is one thing that, that uh, my lawyer, uh, Terry Johnson, asked him. He said, how long you been on the task force? He said, 14 or 15 years, something like that. He say, when you walked up to Mr. Woody and he reached for his weapon, did you pull your gun? He said, no. He said, well, why wouldn't you pull your gun if a man that you see that, that you know got a gun reached for his gun? He said, well, I didn't think Mr. Woody was a threat. How you don't think somebody a threat if you're a cop and you pull up on him and he reached for his gun? That's why you brought it up to begin with, that you, re you went for your gun allegedly just so he could justify the arrest, but that would be the primary concern would be drawing to protect him. Well, 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 his reason for stopping was the fact that he smelled marijuana. Of course. I got off of work and my cousin asked me to go to the store. So there was a whole bunch of stuff going on in the neighborhood, a whole bunch of shooting or whatever, and I didn't want my cousin, little cousin walk to the store by herself. So I decided to open carry and walk to the store with her. So I guess it was time they say Operation Blitz. Three cops rode around the corner and I so happened to be in the street where there was no sidewalk and there was a tree down in the grass. So they pulled up on me and said, and took my gun and said, what are you doing with this? I said, I'm open carrying. They say, no, you have to have the blue card. That's a CPL. Okay, I said, no, where? He said, where's your paperwork? I said, the paperwork is in my back pocket. He got the paperwork, you ready? He gave it back to my auntie, he put me in the back of the car and we left. So when they took me in, I asked him what was the charge. He said, carrying concealed weapon. I said, okay, well, I know I'm gonna beat it because evidently it wasn't hiding if you rolled up on me and snatched it and said, what are you doing with this? So, of course, but little did you know, huh? Right, so they took me in. I waited three days in my own 
mound, mound in the, at the mound detentional mound, facility. Uh -huh. It's uh, near uh, between Six and uh, Nevada or something like that. Yeah, around that area. So they said I wait to be video rain. So I said okay. I waited three days. I got video rain, and they said you here for a curfew ticket. I say no, I'm here for a gun charge. She said no, sir, you're here for a curfew ticket. So I said okay. <laughs> that was last September. I think it was before that even. Oh, August. August I, I think it might have been yeah, August or July even maybe of, of fourteen. Oh, somewhere around that time, it's been a year and some months now. I've been charged, well, not charged, but got a pending felony that, on my case. That is to say, yes, a pending charge you've not been so, charged with. So that way you're a free man, but you can't have your gun back, and you will not pass a background check for a job or for another gun. Is that correct? Correct. That's the big rip of it all, is that while you are a free man, you know, you're being treated like a felon. Right. So, And they won't charge day, you. A year and some months, and counting until whenever they decide to not charge or charge. So, Jerome, I'm stuck. When when are people going to get pissed off enough? They're they're actually going to call DPD and say, "Hey, why are you still arresting people for open carry?" This is I don't I don't think they're going to get tired. Oh, you think they're just going to keep doing they, it? Yeah, they. Now you've already given up. Brainwashed. It's in their head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know there's no such thing as brainwashing? Oh, conspiracy yeah. theorist. Don't you know? <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Jeroni. No problem. Uh, yeah, I know, man. <laughs> Hardcore. <laughs> where are we walking to? Yeah, where are you walking from and to? Uh, we came from the police station. I don't know where the hell we're going to go. Yeah. Turn around when we get tired. Uh, no, not at all. Yes. <laughs> I just thought I would ask. Absolutely. Uh, I, I get, I get, uh, like, what you're around. Is there something that has spurred this? In? Yes, sir. A lot of things. Because what has happened is that the DPD, for years now, has been targeting black men who are obeying the law, carrying firearms lawfully for their own protection. And, you know, openly, they don't have a license to carry, but they can carry openly, legally. And they're well aware of this. They do their research and they charge, they arrest them and charge them with carrying a concealed weapon. Yeah. This has happened yeah. over and why, over again. Why, like, this moment, this moment today? Because uh, yet another person has become victim to this by DPD. Yeah. It's an ongoing today, thing. We have this gentleman and this gentleman who both suffered this. And uh, there's another one. We can't really comment on the details because of the fact the lawyer said, don't tell anybody anything until we sort it out. But suffice it to say, there's a lot of it that's gone on you can learn all about. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, did you just choose today, or was there, like, a feeling that happened? We chose today. Happened, it's something we found out that happened Thursday, and we chose to walk today. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. We, we try and do this every week, every other week on Sundays, you know, one way or another for different different things to protest. But we're all about liberty. You know, we, we believe that uh, gay couples should be able to defend their marijuana crops with guns, or so they say, right? You know, freedom is for everyone. That makes sense? Anybody else? Exactly. Take it easy, all right? And we understand you don't want any extra guns on the street that don't need to be in the, the wrong hands. Yeah. Uh, we're not gun rights activists. We're liberty activists. Liberty? Okay. You, you, you must understand, I understand that that's not an accurate statement for everybody, but we're making a point about certain officers. You must appreciate that. It's, it's much easier to fit this on a poster board than some DPD officers lie. Now you tell me, now you tell me what's wrong with that picture. Isn't it funny? Yes, yeah. Okay. It's been on the books forever. Okay. That many people knew about it? Don't you think they would have been doing it long before you guys? Oh, you would think. However, it's still happening. That's the issue. And that's why we're out here. You know, all these we need, you know, 90% of the world. I would have to say, I would have to say,